Hi, it's Dr. Robinson, and today I'm doing a combination lesson between how transcribers can take work, uh, math work that's inaccessible to a blind student and put it into Word. And then in the same way, this exact same skills are going to be used by the blind student in order to output the answers and quickly email it to his teacher when he or she is done. So I'm sitting on a 32 inch screen. I'm gonna suggest that transcribers do have a screen this large because then they can put half of the, the inaccessible work to one side and then the Word document to the other side uh, in order to transcribe it correctly into perfect Nemeth code. The uh, blind student does need a braille display. It is very easy to work off a of braille display for a transcriber also to quickly six key this uh, work in, but they have options on that. So I'm going to be using a Focus 40 Braille display, fifth generation, and I'm going to be using the Braille Math Editor with JAWS 22 and the latest updates. It did come out in JAWS 21. Uh, they are constantly perfecting that. So I'm gonna transcribe this math work. I'm not going to deal with any of the Braille because that's rarely an issue for transcribers, but it is when it comes to the math and then how to output it so the screen reader will actually read it correctly. So I'm going to be looking at number one. Uh, I do wanna go over the options in order to get this set up correctly. And the first one is insert six because this does need to be on US English. You also need to have eloquence on. So this is for the student part. Um, so insert six. Word dash setting center dialogue search box edit type of text control plus e computer e r a i l l braille m o e there's different ways to braille one of seven command set braille mode structure general braille f six general page braille mode combo box structure multi translation language combo box English dash United States thirty one so we have students in Europe it too needs to be English United States U E B two you can tab to output and input and you can have U S English two that also is an option but that is a must if this is going to work and we are going to be using contracted braille mode and I will be showing you how to do that. So hit escape out of that. Escape, document one dash word. You also need to do insert uh, control S. Select the voice profile dialog, default colon combo box, eloquence one. And you do need to go to eloquence. So you many use real speak voices, you need to use eloquence. Hit enter on that. Enter, edit. Okay, so here we are. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and go into the math of this. Uh, G.7 in space, so you can go through all your modes and listen to the correct one. Computer Braille. Nope. Contract out slash computer in. You can. You can use that, but you will be using a combination of computer Braille, but let's just stick to straight Nemeth. Contract the Braille. Okay, and you'll be using a combination of UEB as you need to. Let's go ahead and do number one and Perrin. Number sign. One. Dot five. The R sign. One right Perrin. And now let's go ahead and go into the Braille Math Editor. And on my focus braille display, I'm gonna be doing three, seven, four, six in space. If you're doing it from the keyboard, you're gonna do insert space, shift equals. But I'm on my braille display and because it's really fast when you six key it in, but I'll do it nice and slowly so you understand every step that I'm doing. Braille math editor, equation edit, type of the math expression. Go ahead and do three n to the power of two minus eight equals negative five n. That's two five. That's one, three, four, five. To the power of. That's two, three. Got to hit that dot five to say I want to go back down to normal. Dot five. That's three, six. That's two, three, six. Space. That's four, six. That's one, three. Space. That's three, six. That's two, six. That's one, three, four, five. Okay. Now, what's so great about this is if I do something wrong and I hit enter, it's going to tell me that it is incorrect. And that gives me the opportunity to feel my braille display and really feel the Nemeth code to make sure it's actually going to read correctly and then quickly wrap my cursor to it and fix the issue. I'm gonna hit enter in order to input this information. Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Word document, document one, document one dash word, edit. Okay, and then listen to it. Normal, one right there in math content, three n squared minus eight equals negative five n. And don't we love that? So it reads perfectly, but more importantly, even if it did not, it reads perfectly from the Braille display. It is in flawless Nemeth code and it does automatically put a number sign in front of the three where it needs to be and the number five and then n. So uh, it is just phenomenal. Let's go ahead and move to the end. And I do that on my brother's play with four, five, six in space. Bottom one right there in math content, three n squared minus eight equals negative five n. 
And I always just tell students and transcribers, use white space as needed. Enter. Dot six. A. Dot five. The R sign. The right parent. And let's go ahead and go in to our brackets, but we need to do that through our Braille math editor. Once again, three, seven, four, six in space. Braille math editor, equation edit, type in the math expression. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brackets. That's four, six. That's one, two, three, five, six. And open them. I immediately tell myself I need to go into my fraction indicator. So I need to have an opening fraction and a closing fraction along with my square root. That's one, four, five, six. That's one, four, five, six. That's three, four, five. That's two, three, five, six. That's three five six. That's one two four five. That's three four. That's two. That's three five six. That's three four five six. That's six. And you can always pause and have it generate for you. So visually, you can pick up that you are on the right track. Uh, if you were not, uh, let's go ahead and backspace and show you an error. That's six. That's three four five six. So you forget the uh, ending fraction indicator. And it immediately says you're invalid. If you space. Need space and you think you're doing it correctly, and that's you six. Comma, it still tells you you're doing it incorrectly. That's six. Real space. That's space. Quickly put that's three, four, five, six. correct fraction indicator in there, and you can continue. Here we go. That's six. That's three, six. That's one, four, five, six. That's three, four, five. That's two, three, five, six. That's three, five, six. That's one, two, four, five. That's three, four, five, two. That's three, five, six. That's three, four, five, six. That's four, six. That's two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And uh, you just give it a couple seconds. It visually generates exactly what your problem is. And this is great because you can actually start just transcribing really, really fast. And it's very easy. Typically the things that are forgotten is like the termination indicator uh, or the ending fraction indicator. But if you know where the errors are gonna be, you can quickly visually check it. You can actually check it on your photo display really, really fast. And then you can just enter an input. Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Word document, document one, document one dash word, edit. And of course, it it uh, enters into the um, a Word document. Lastly, let's hear it. Normal, a right parent, math content, left parent, the square root of 70 over 10. Negative, the square root of 70 over 10, right parent. We just love that. Let's go ahead and add. Bottom, the right parent, math content, left parent, the square root of 10. Enter. enter again. Put that white space in. Enter. Let's go ahead and do a capital B. Dot six. B. Dot five. The R sign. B right parent. Okay, and let's go ahead and go right back into the uh, Braille editor. Braille math editor, equation editor, type in the math. Shift. Okay, and let's go ahead and do a little more complicated quadratic formula, but still no issue for the Braille math editor. Going. That's four six. That's one two three five six. That's two four. That's one four five six. That's one two six. That's two. That's three five six. That's three four five. That's two three five six. That's three five six. That's one two four five six. That's three four. That's two. That's three five six. That's three four five six. Take a quick look. Continue. That's six. That's three six. That's two four. That's one four five six. That's one two six. That's two. That's three five six. That's three four five. That's two three five six. That's three five six. That's one two four five six. That's three four. That's two. That's three five six. That's three four five six. That's four six. That's two three four five six. And then of course, if you mess up anywhere along the line, it can quickly tell you that it will be invalid. Let me go ahead and move along once again and just change something so you can see how it's going to tell you it's wrong. Uh, the big ones that we forget are termination and ending fraction. That's, two, that's four, six. So let's pretend we forgot the uh, ending fraction. That's three, four, five, six. And it completely tells you, no, it's invalid. If I try to hit enter, it will also tell me I'm wrong. Error dialog, invalid or incomplete Braille math. Please check for errors and type again. Okay button to activate. Press space R. Braille math editor, equation edit contains text. Type in the math expression. Press insert plus F1 for more. As the blind student is doing this and doing out the math, it will literally tell him he's doing this uh, incorrectly. And he will go back, check his Braille display, check to see where he goofed. That's three, four, five, six. Immediately make the correction and then hit enter and input it. So this is incredibly valuable in telling you if you're even doing the math correctly. Let's hit that. Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Word document, document one, document one dash word, edit. Okay, and then of course we'd like to up and down arrow and listen to the whole formula perfectly. Land. Normal, be right there in that content, left there in I and 10 root of 70 over 10, negative I and 10 root of 70 over 10, right there in. Mm -hmm. So it's verbally telling you that, but more importantly, this student puts their fingers on the Braille display and they are reading this Nemeth code flawlessly throughout. And then of course they can go ahead and solve it. Okay, so these are basically the principles and the uh, transcriber is just going to go through and complete all this. One quick um, item I want to talk about is in number three, when it has the numbers actually in a table view where it's A to the left and then B is to the right of it and C is directly under A and then D is to the right of it, you really want to put these all out in vertical. So let me go ahead and do a demonstration of that. Bottom, be right there in that content, left there and I enter. Enter. 
Okay, let's just pretend we're down by number three. Number sign. Three. And I guess this would be a pair. Dot five. The R sign. Three right parent. And uh, let's go ahead and go into the editor. Braille math editor. Equation editor. Type in the matrix. And let's go ahead and do this out. Dots one, two, three, four. Dots four, five. Dots two, three. Dots five. Dots three, six. Dots two, five, six. Dots one, two, three, four. Space. Dots four. Dots one, three, space. Dots two, six. Okay. And just immediately check it. And then you hit enter on it, and if you do it wrong, it will tell you that you've done it incorrectly. Document one dash word. Document one. Document one dash word. Edit. Okay, and it reads uh, perfectly from your broad display. Let's hit your end. Bottom. Free right there. Match content. Piece where my enter. Enter. And the way you're going to want to do these, once again, is you're going to want to do them vertical, not horizontal. So let's go ahead and do a capital. Dot six. A. Dot five. The R sign. The right there. Get into your Braille math editor. Braille math editor. Equation edit. Type in the math expression. Press insert plus F1. Let's go ahead and do our brackets. That's four six. That's one two three five six. That's two. That's six. That's three six. That's two. That's four six. That's two three four five six. Okay, let it generate. Make sure you actually did it correctly. And guess what? You did a one instead of a five. So let's just go. You can write your cursor right to it. Or that's that's that's, that's that's six. And let's go ahead and two. get rid of that dot two. That's six. And let's actually correct it with that's two five. six. So once again, you're just quickly checking that to make sure you've got that correct, and you hit enter. Document one dash word. Document one. Document one dash word. Edit. And go ahead and check it on your brow display or auditorily. Either Bottom. Or normal. A right there in that content. Left enter. Enter. And once again. Dot six. B. Dot five. The R sign. B right there. We want to put it directly underneath so the student can just go straight down the page on all of this. Let's go ahead and do the Braille math editor. Braille math editor. Equation edit. Type in the math. Okay. Dot four six. Dot one two three five six. Dot two three five six. That's six. That's three six. That's two five. That's four six. That's two three four five six. Okay, and of course. Microsoft yeah. Word document. Microsoft Word document. Document one. Document one dash word. Edit. And Bottom. Be right there in that content. Left there in seven. Negative three right there and enter. Enter, and of course you want to do it. That's six. C. C. That's five. The R sign. C right there. And, and continue. So you want to do this uh, vertically all the way down the page, and it just makes it incredibly easy for the blind student to go ahead and read this right from the top all the way down. Let's go to the head and go to the top. Top, one right there in that content, three n squared minus eight equals negative five n. Beautiful. Blank, blank, the right there in that content, left there in the square root of 70 over 10, negative the square root of 70 over 10, blank. B right there in that content, left there in I and 10 root of 70 over 10, negative I and 10 root of 70 over 10, right there in. Excellent. Blank, three right there in that content, p squared minus four p equals five. Okay, and so on. So a transcriber will transcribe this directly into a Word document with all the directions. The blind student will be using the screen reader and their braille display and truly get a, a really good braille display that will actually uh, handle this. Uh, my team and I and the students just happen to prefer a Focus 40 braille display because it easily does everything. So that is how a transcriber and students will be outputting their math. And then, of course, they can quickly email it to their teachers. Alt F Z. Alt F menu home to move through items, press up or down arrow Z. Document, that attach works. a copy instead. Word document editor. Edit. Enter. Their outlook immediately opens. Document one dash message left there. And then of course the student just uh, just sends this off to the teacher. Now this was not saved. A lot of times teachers do last minute work in a, in a class. The student can quickly do it off just like everybody else. And if they don't have to save it, it'll just be document one. But most students will be hitting their F12 and saving this at, and sending it off to their teacher that fast. And that is how transcribers transcribe Braille math work for their blind students using screen readers and braille displays. And that's how the blind students with screen readers and braille displays complete their work and send it off.